Hi guys, hello. Um, so I want to do a quick little Bath and Body Works haul for fall and Halloween. Um, I don't, I think you'll learn how to do filters on you. You guys are to teach me how to do it. Um, I look a little rough today, but here we go. Um, so without further ado, uh, Bath and Body Works and a few other things to haul. So I'm actually so going to start with, yeah, let's start with Bath and Body since we're going with Bath and Body. So this is my favorite scent for November. I got the one wick on sale. Marshmallow Fireside is my November scent. It is the perfect scent to transition from your like spicy wood, you know, spicy fall leaf, cinnamony smell, the fall smells, and leaf smells, I don't explain it. Fall smells, apple smells to winter. This is the perfect. So I've got the single wick. It smells like, it really smells like a crackling fire, like a wood wood fire with a little bit of that vanilla, which is what that marshmallow scent is. Really beautiful packaging. So that's that single wick. I use a coupon. I think I got that for free with my coupon. Use the app for Bath and Body if you don't, because you can get coupons and free things and like save up points or whatever. It's free to do. This was my, well, this wasn't my favorite. My favorite has been discontinued. They changed the formula and I'm heartbroken. My favorite was Autumn. This is the perfect Autumn. So it's, this is the reformulated version, very pretty packaging. It smells like it's got clove well like i'll tell you what's in it it's um clove cranberry spiced pumpkin crisp apple and essential oils so cranberry is a little bit more forward than i would like it to be this reminds me a little bit of cranberry woods mixed with fall scents so i wish they just kept it pure bath and body works if you're watching please bring back autumn this is my one left over from last year this is the perfect fall scent it's like crisp apple what did this one have in it this was bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, fir balsam, balsam, and essential oils. I missed this one. This was the ultimate fall candle. I'm so sad they've, I'm gonna have to burn it on my birthday or something because I'm out. I'm so sad they changed the formula. Bring it back. So that was from last year. I also got uh, sweater weather. This one smells kind of like a man. It smells like a sexy man chopping wood. <laughs> it smells... It's got a clean scent. It's clean. This one doesn't bother my fiance, um, who a lot a lot of scents bother him, because it's clean and it's not too musky. Let's see what they say is in it: sage, juniper, eucalyptus, fresh woods, and natural essential oils, and everything. So it does kind of smell like the woods, like a man chopping wood with cologne on, but not strong cologne. It's like really clean, fresh scent. So that's just a nice, I think I might transition with that one into um, September, like end of August, September. It's a good one. Again, I got another marshmallow fireside because I burn it all November. One of my favorites. This is, this one gets purchased every year. It's one of my go-to classics. Um, I also this year for, I didn't get many Halloween scents because I wasn't into the Halloween scents this year. I did get champagne, um, apple and honey. I might gift this one. It's nice. It just, it's like a subtle apple scent, but I find myself really preferring crisp apple scents, which they were not doing very pure. Everything was pumpkin apple or champagne apple or something apple. I miss the actual like country apple or the autumn scent with like the crisp, more intense apple smells. So I hope they bring them back. The one Halloween candle I got this year which was my favorite was pumpkin carving. Look at that awesome packaging. I think they did a really good job with the packaging this year. Not as good with the scents this year. So this is delightful. It smells like Halloween. I'll probably burn this closer to Halloween. It smells like freshly carved pumpkin, which actually does smell like fresh pumpkin. Spiced pumpkin seeds, smooth brown sugar. So it has that sweet smell to it. But it also has like a, a musky, pumpkin-y, natural smell to it. So I really liked this one. My favorite scent for Halloween. I smelled them all. That's the only one I ended up getting that's not fall. It's more Halloween specific. I also got this guy, the Perfect Pumpkin, um, which is a pumpkin general one because I love the packaging for Halloween bathroom stuff. So that's my Bath and Body Works candles. I've also got a few things. I did get some plugins. I did not do the crazy lady witch hand that is so popular or the busts or anything. 
I do really like the manly busts and I still may try to get my hands on one eventually, but I'm not freaking out about it. <laughs> I'm okay with it. By the way, I put on my blind flame, black flame candle shirt um, from Unique and Vintage just for you guys because I wanted to do Halloween, make this Halloween. So, and I'm dressed in a sundress otherwise. It's still hot here in New Mexico. I just moved from California. So this guy is my one of my plugins. He's like the Casper looking plugin. He glows all over. He's kind of got that really beautiful iridescent look. Really cute. He's a wallflower. I actually did get some wallflowers since, and I don't always do this. I got the perfect autumn, a little duo pack, dual pack. So these, you know, screw into this and they smell nice. I don't know if I'm gonna do wallflowers or not yet, or if I'm just gonna use them as night lights. But there's that guy, and then I did get my hands on this guy. This is hard to find that I got him when they restocked immediately online. He's got the plug-in screwed in. Um, it's like a beautiful little, I don't know, haunted house with like the ghoulish garden. Um, what are those called? Oh, why is my brain doing this? You guys want to talk, um, conservatory kind of thing? Greenhouse? There's a word for it in British culture. I can't remember what it is. And these little guys light up too. I love that. It's so cute. And it also projects onto the wall um, like a round moon with bats. I'll put a little insert in here for you guys to see it. So that guy was super cute. Love this find. That was a good find. But I didn't go too insanely crazy this year. I did get quite a few on the sale. But this guy, I just, please bring it back. Bath and Body Works, there ain't nothing like that one. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching all. Um, if you like, like, and subscribe, share all that stuff. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Nope, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I forgot one more thing to show you guys. Um, not Bath and Body Works. A couple more things. So I also got, and I'll show you guys some other random Halloween things in other videos, like, I'll do a whole decor haul video and I'll do a clothing haul because I went crazy for Halloween this year. So I got these scrub daddy things. One's a Frankenstein, one's a ghost, and one's a pumpkin. These are awesome because they really help with deep cleaning. They're dishwasher safe. They don't like hold on to bacteria like normal. And if you do warm water, they're soft. And if you do cold water, they stay hard and scrubbable. So I just thought that was like a fun Halloween thing. Um, that's very practical. I also got a couple scents that were not Bath and Body Works. This is Magic Candle, Candle Company. I got Autumn on Main Street, which does smell like, it smells like the scent they pump out at Disneyland or Disney World around fall time, which is really, it just really brings me back. It's like very memory inducing. I love that smell. It's very fall smelling um, and kind of fruit forward. And then this one I also got from that same company. I've gotten lots of company, lots of fun candles from them, but this one's Happy Haunts. So this one's my Halloween theme. Um, it smells like Haunted Mansion. And it really does. It smells kind of musty, like a haunted house. And it has a subtle scent. So if people are, you know, really um, can't do strong scents, this one's not bad at all. Because I don't know, I haven't burned it yet, so I don't know what the throw is yet. But it's it's not too, it's pretty subtle. That one is pretty subtle. And sweater weather is pretty subtle if you guys have that issue. So that is really it this time. Fall sending. <laughs> Bye, guys.